This method can help answer key questions regarding the biogeochemical cycling of cadmium and mercury, such as how different environmental variables affect their bioavailability to bacteria. The main advantage of this technique is that it offers quasi-real-time bioavailability data in viable cells irrespective of the presence of oxygen. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because there are many time-sensitive steps that require very meticulous attention to detail. Demonstrating the procedure will be Ben, a grad student from my lab. To prepare for the assay, retrieve the mercury-inducible biosensor and the constitutively expressed biosensor from a minus 80 degrees Celsius cryostock. Plate the cells onto lysogeny broth plates containing 120 micrograms per milliliter of ampicillin. Grow the plate cultures in an incubator at 37 degrees Celsius overnight. Between 4.30 and 5 p.m., inoculate a culture in 10 milliliters of LB with ampicillin and grow overnight at 37 degrees Celsius with shaking at 220 rpm. At between 9 and 10 a.m. the next morning, bring the culture, as well as the previously prepared growth medium, into the anaerobic chamber. Then add 8 milliliters of fresh growth medium and 210 micrograms per milliliter of ampicillin into a sterile balch tube. Now collect 2 milliliters of the overnight grown culture and transfer into a 2 milliliter microcentrifuge tube. After centrifuging at 10,000 RCF for 90 seconds, remove the supernatant and resuspend in 2 milliliters of fresh growth medium. Then add the resuspended culture to the bulge tube containing 8 milliliters of fresh growth medium and ampicillin.